Ah, I keep using potions without meaning to. Oh, I'm not really positioned well for that. I know there was a way to switch weapons. It's gotta be. Yeah, so it's actually the D-pad, so I'd forgotten that. So how am I doing for potions actually? Yeah, doing okay. So what is this? Arrows. Okay. Worn padded helmet. I don't think that's any good. Same old stuff. Okay, so right, the, isn't the lever? Oh, here's the lever. Why would you put that right next to the door that it opens? It seems careless. Okay, so I don't want to use arrows in this guy. I'm just gonna do the same exploit. As horribly unfair as it is. Oh, I still got a hit on him. Hit it on me. But most of the time they won't even touch you, so. Yeah. Uh. I think this is sort of a mini boss event. Yeah. A lot of kobolds and their bugbear leader, I guess. Intruders. So now we have a lot of kobolds to deal with. And their chieftains, so yeah, this is gonna get kind of hairy. <laughs> but I'm a little confused as to why he doesn't start out at full health. Too bad, actually. This looks important. So I found a prison cell. Now we can release uh, Ethan, who should be just up ahead. Let's see. A little bit of loot here, though. I want to get this stuff first. Really? Uh, weapon rack, okay. Potion. It's just arrows, though. Why am I. What's this? More arrows. <laughs> See the cell. Oh, tch, really? These are all arrows. It's like not even. Tch. Oh. Tch. Uh, got that one already. So Ethan should be just over here. And we've done it, folks. We've saved Ethan. Aelith told me you'd follow me down into the cellars. I'm glad I found you. Well, after I gave you the cellar door key, I felt guilty about letting you head down here without help. So, I followed you down. No sooner do I get down here than I'm surrounded by those yapping kobold devils, and they haul me to this cell and lock me in. But the door to the sewers was locked. How did you get down here? There's an entrance to the sewers from the street, and I use that. I knew about it from my days when I was in the guild. The old guild, not the new one. You're a thief? Retired. But life's behind me. Still, I've kept a bit of what I've learned. 
and it might help you now. What do you mean? I managed to pick this key off the chieftain you killed. I think it unlocks a gate deeper in the sewers. If you're still aiming to catch those thieves that robbed you, then you'll need it. While I was locked up here, I overheard some of the thieves from this new guild planning a mission. And that's what I heard. I don't know what that thief was carrying, but it can't have been good. If you want to stop whatever deviltry they've got planned, then you'll need to head deeper into the sewers and find that thief. I'll find him. Give me the key, and I'll head deeper into the sewers. Alright then, I don't need to tell you to be careful. I'll meet up with you at the Elf Song Tavern later on. Come find me when you found that thief and what he was carrying. I'll try to dig up some of my old contacts and see if they can tell me anything about these thieves that could help you out. Alright. Farewell, Ethan. Okay, so Ethan's escaping to the surface. Uh, the staircase he mentioned actually is that spiral staircase we just saw. I'll probably actually just go back right now. Uh, and of course, now I find a bow. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sorry about stumbling on the dialogue <laughs> just now. But wasn't really prepared for it. Yeah, let's actually just go up right now. This basically gives us a shortcut to the surface. One of several. Okay, so... The elf song is... Where was the elf song? Ah, okay. I think it was one of these last ones. Here we are. Uh, I'm not sure if we get experience from Aelith or not. We'll see. Thank you for finding Ethan. He told me what happened down in the sewers. You're welcome, Aelith. Here's some coins for your trouble, and please, you're welcome to rest here anytime, no charge. Thank you. I appreciate the hospitality. Okay, so we appear to have leveled up. Let's see what we got. Hmm. We can get flame arrows now. Uh, but I actually prefer shock arrows or exploding arrows, because those are very damaging and they have an area of effect. Yeah, those cost a lot of points, though, and I can't really get them yet. I'll probably hold off on... Yeah, I think I'm going to hold off on buying any of these until I've got the shock arrows, at least. Let's see what we got for things to sell. Oh, I have a shield that's two armor, so we can switch to that. Padded gloves plus one. So we can sell all the rest of this stuff, really. Uh, yeah, it's the exact same kind of bow. It's ridiculous. Okay. I knew I was going to find one as soon as I if quality and price bought one. Are your chief concerns, then look no You'll find my shop has okay, so sell all this other stuff. We don't need any of it. Uh, sell more of these potions. I think the smell of the sewers is taking a Still don't have enough for that nice bow, though. Uh, well, here's another new NPC. We'll see what Ethan says first. Thanks for the rescue down in the sewers, friend. I feel like a right fool for not heeding my own advice and staying clear of that place. Here are a few coins as a way of thanks. I'm an old trinket of mine from my younger days. It's not much, but it may be of use to you. Thanks, Ethan. Did you find that thief who was running around in the sewers? Not yet. I'm still looking. I'll return when I found him. Okay, so we get more experience and more gold. And an amulet of dexterity. So... Should actually... Those basically just boost your attribute. Well, the given attribute by one. Or... Actually, more. Th you get more than one eventually. 
like you, I think they add up to maybe five points. So, and you can wear, I believe, one amulet and two rings. I'm not sure about that, but that's that's usually how that works, and that's like kind of the standard kind of trinket layout. Now let's talk to this lady, Osala. <clears throat> I want no trouble. Are you all right? I, I've been waiting for someone, but I fear I wait in vain. Who? My man, Kissin. Had just gone on an uh, expedition into the north to a place called Battle of the Bones, where the dead still walk. He has a talent for the shadowy arts, and he had been asked to recover an item, an orb for someone, then bring it here to Baldur's Gate. The amount of money he was being offered was more than either of us had ever seen. When I spoke to him about the expedition, however, he was acting strangely, almost dazed, as if he'd been hypnotized or charmed. He was obsessed with finding this orb for his new employer. We had agreed to meet here in the Elf Song should anything happen. But it's been almost three nights now, and I have seen no sign of him. I fear for the worst. I fear that the orb he recovered may have done something horrible to him. If I should see or hear of Kissin, I will let you know. Okay, so another optional side quest. Uh, so we've got an Ethon. Uh, we're most of the way through the sewer level. I think I'll actually leave it here. Um, I do actually have other things to do before tomorrow, so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to save it here. So the plot thickens. Uh, we now have additional side quests, and we've learned a little bit more about these characters. And we're maybe starting to suspect that there's some darker plot at work here. We don't know what, but we will. So that's it for now. Thank you for listening if you listened, and I'll be back. This has been Edwardovich, signing off.